a lot. Um, I could see it in real time. Um, Gina is there, Miss Mackenzie. Um, when, when we read a champion last year, I think like three, maybe three or four students read. This year when we went, went back, it's like about eight of them read and they were more waiting. They actually start a writing club there and it's going marvelous. Um, when we did the different stops on the tour and the response of the students and what they say to you after how much it has inspired them to go and write and to think another way. Because we don't only say poems to them, we also inspire them and challenge them to become you know, more engaged citizens as they grow up, to learn well so that they can really become the men and women in the society of tomorrow. So we accomplish all of that. In addition to that, I know we did the, 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 right, the, the, work, the workshop and that went enormously well. Um, people really learn, and we had requests from other schools in the rural parishes, Bethlehem in particular, and the Manning, where they actually want us to do something similar there. I want us to do the tour more than once a year, of course. Wow. That just, so in real time, you can see the growth, the, the opening up of the space. We had like 29 poets who read this year on the tour. There was a taxi man, um, Fed Eye, yeah, Fed Eye, yeah. who yeah. is a taxi man who is running in tournaments and when I'm here, you're running and we're given the opportunity to read at States. He was awesome. So it's also about creating opportunity in real time, Explosion. you know. So, so those are some of the, the tangible things that came out of it. If I can add something to that, Michael. Yeah. Um, when we were at Manning's, this was very interesting for me, a young girl came to me and she said, Miss, I was doing some research for my class, for my class assignment, and I saw you on YouTube reading at whichever school it was, Campion last year or Cornwall, and I saw some of the other poets and I was like, man, I wish they could come to my school. And look, here you are. You know, so even what they're seeing online, because like Cornwall put everything last year online, we didn't even know. And I think Campion had some stuff online, and there's stuff on YouTube from the Poets Tour. And there's students that we didn't know we were impacting because we didn't see them one on one who were able to say, Boy, I saw a cherry natural and I saw, and I'm watching it. And I went and I looked up the video and I have a whole heap of views. So the impact is even greater than the footprint that we are making, you know, on our own. The footprint is so much wider and the impact is so much greater. And they're studying our poetry. I have one school who she wanted the book because she wants to do one of the poems in a JCDC and stuff like that. So the impact is pretty huge. Thanks, Judith. Any other question? Any other question? Um, and <coughs> from the, the rib review that you just gave yourself, it would sound <laughs> as if there's going to be another tour next year. Yes, oh, yeah. definitely. definitely. And, and as I said, and, and chat, well, I any, as I said earlier, any yeah. right, as I said earlier, um, one of the things that, that, that I'm looking at is like, I would like that for next year, that when we tour, we'd have a volume, a, a collection by all the poets who are participating. Um, I would also like us to do, to collaborate and, and, and probably do an album. Um, Possible, you know. So that's what I'm looking at. I would also like to see something like a foundation down here, because we're a society with a lot of individuals who have a lot of resources, but they don't invest in the the collective good. It's all a meeting, you know. So can we have a foundation where when a Michael Record gets invited to to read in London or something like that, the foundation can say, "Hey, Michael is a." $400 towards your, 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 your <laughs> so, so, something like that. So that's where we want to go. And, and it behooves the younger ones to kind of step up and do it. Because the old ones, them comfortable in them Ivory Tower. Most of them make them name already and things like that. They don't really care, right? However, in other nationalities, you go and you find when they win them Nobel Prize or them win all them big prizes, they go away and they'll take a certain amount of sum and they set up a foundation and you can research it. 
How else don't do it? And most of them don't do it. You don't see it. Right? So we the younger ones, you know, have to come up with that mindset. And we are <laughs> and, and we also need to we also need to think in, in terms of sustainability. Like, you know, we don't want to just start the thing and just hold on to it. We want to invigorate it and get others involved. And let me call one year and say, wise word, this year I want you to coordinate the thing and put together the pieces of Antonia Valle or Cherry Natural. That, that's what we want. We want to get, get the, everyone involved at that level. You know, and we want to grow it, we want to listen. Um, I love listening. I have a soft heart. So I love to include as much people as straight up, straight up, right? So I love to include and create opportunity as much as possible. But I love to listen. I would love feedback, so I'm just about everyone who have seen the tour, have, have heard us read, and uh, so what we can do to make it better next year. Because trust me, we'll blow it up big, 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 and the splash <laughs> against the sky, right? Yes. Uh, Malachi, I yes. Ask you a question. Yeah. I know that overseas they give you a lot of money. Right. So you like how you live up there. Mm. Right. And you have good mm. idea out here. Mm. You get some of the money from up there mm. and down here. Mm. Well, um. That's like a boy. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it. Well, well. Why are we outside? For argument's sake, a, a lot of the. Say the, the Jamaican companies in the States to do well. Mm -hmm. yeah. there, there was a time when you'd be producing things and you could approach them and, and they'd be more willing to, to subscribe. However, I think after the financial meltdown and sometime after that, most of those entities moved all their decision making back to Jamaica. You know, as a result, it's very difficult to get stuff out of them. I know you have platforms where you can, um, you know, like GoFundMe and stuff like that. Some of them do have restrictions. Oh, the arts um, would, would I, I would have to investigate it. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. But it definitely needs funding. You know. All right, Malachi, yeah. while you're on the topic about funding, what if there are sponsors mm -hmm. who want to get contact with you? Like, oh, this video will go on social media. Suppose they want to get you now. Okay. Just, just mention I can tell you my cell you. number is 305-302-5365. 305-302-5365. Um, a good email address to reach me is malismith, M-A-L-I-S-M-I-T-H, 58 at gmail.com M-A-L-I-S-M-I-T-H 58 at gmail.com and Twitter at Malachi Smith 820 so Instagram I'm on Instagram too but it's like Malachi that something or that something or that <laughs> <laughs> but, but you can find me on Facebook if you put in Malachi D. Smith it's gonna populate and you're gonna see me right so you know those are all the areas you can find me in addition to that um you know, a, a number of persons in Jamaica knows me intimately. You know, whether it be a Fabian or Opal or Michael, you know, or Basil, a whole but all the poets know how to reach me. So if anyone desires to to help in any way, I want to become a part of it, know where we can make it bigger and better. Um, because the, put it this way, poets are the conscience of the society. Straight up. And we have a big problem in Jamaica. The society has lost its conscience. Drive out there right now. Just, just drive out there right now and it needs you in the face. It's blaring. You know, we have kind of lost our moral compass. Um, so the poets have a strategic role to play in kind of bringing back the synergy into the mix. But how are they going to play it if people are not listening to them? If you are not making yourself heard? It doesn't make sense that you only go into a, a room with a few people I already know and they close their eyes and hear. And that's why we, we were happy when we went down in Arnett Gardens and read for those little kids. It was magic, right? More of us needs to get out of our comfort zone and go out there, you know, in the fields, right? Go in half a tree square and read some poetry make people think you're mad. Make them 
you know, start speaking to them. Start speak the word, right? Because, as I say in the beginning, there was the word. The word is always there. It's always with us. But we need to, we need to engage. We need to engage the society. We cannot keep it locked away in a book, right? It must be heard, right? And you have to do it, right? The, the DJs and they're the other ones have captured the airways. So why are you not going on radio? Why are you not starting a show on radio? Right? I'm on an FM station in the States, two hours, hours every Wednesday night, strictly roots, dub poetry and more. And when I play it, and I say, say why them say you can't dance to dub poetry? Listen to this. Listen to Linton, listen to Okoya. You know, listen to Wise Word. You understand? And people say, what? That show is rough. Right? The show is a gem on the station. Right? This is an FM station in the United States of America. Only live in a little Jamaica. Well, we don't have something I go on and then level that. What are you waiting for? Eh? What are you waiting for? You have to want to, you have to come eh? with money and a sponsor. Eh? So Make you it happen. Come with money. Like, when the readers say, don't, eh? so they don't just, they don't eh? the generosity. They say, how much money are you bring to us? So who's your sponsor? So you have to pay but, but, for the but, time. But you hear what I said? You are the conscience of the society. Tell them they're going to burn with their money. <laughs> <laughs> the gunman them going come and take the money, mm. right? So you need to show them how the value of what it, there's a value added to it. It's not just Caesar's currency, mm. right? But the value where you're getting from, from doing these type of programs. You can't measure it in monetary terms. And that's why you have to stand up to them. You have to take them on. You have to go up in their faces and let them know 